Hello, my friends. My name is John Bams, and as you can hear, there is a lot of monsters looking to give their XP to me. <laughs> um, so I'm down in the slime farm, and I took the spawner I had up here, and I've kind of turned it into an XP grinding machine. Uh, I'm standing back here right now because there's actually so many monsters in here, uh, the game can't even really play the audio track of all their uh, moaning and what's not. So let's go over here. Ah, you can hear as I get closer. Let's listen to it glitch out a little. <laughs> oh my, there's so many monsters in there. Uh, so yeah, as you can see, this thing's working well. Uh, I'm level 47, and I'm terrified of death. That's why I'm carrying a diamond sword, and I have armor on right now. But, um, before I just, like, melt down the server with too many monsters in here, let's go kill them. And then I will show you guys what's going on here. So, if you come up here, you can see there they are. And there is a lot of them. Um, now, basically what's happening, let me quickly explain what's going on. The spawner is in there. And like we had it before, they just sort of got pushed out right here, and I was killing them. Boring. So now what happens is the monsters get pushed into the water, and then there's a water elevator right here that carries them up 23 blocks over a little bit, and then drops them right here, giving them just enough damage so that I can basically one-punch them to death. I think we will kill all these guys right now with this slime ball. <laughs> so let's do it. Let's do it. Let's kill them. Here I come to kill you, zombies. Let's see how much XP we get out of this. Should be pretty high. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is the zombie apocalypse right here. Poor zombies. I am just ruining all of their lives. Come here and die, zombies! I think they actually get so glitched out and piled up that they... If we could see, they're probably going all the way up this 23 block of pipe here. And at this high of a level, I've almost gotten a full level out of this one harvest. couple hits. Look at that, a full level of XP from that one harvest. So now it'll take, um, usually what I'll do is when it, I clear it out, I come to my little AFK spot right here, and I make sure to face the ground in case Endermen show up, because they have down here. And it only takes about, um, I don't know, maybe not even five minutes until it's that full again. And uh, obviously if I was a lower level, that would have given me just, you know, I think Kuma did it last night. Or no, 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 it was Mad Dog. Mad Dog, he did it last night. And he went from level 1 to level 11, I think it was, in one harvest of uh, that. Yeah, so uh, it's pretty amazing. It's, it's working fantastically. But um, now I basically want to try to show you guys um, how the elevator at least works. So I think what I'll do now is I'm going to... Oh, I'm starving to death. That really blasts through your hunger. Chow down, man. Chow down. Okay. So, um, yeah. Now what I'll do is I'll... I'm sure some of you are kind of curious how this uh, water elevator thing works. So I'm just going to switch over to... A creative world quick and I'll show you guys very, very quickly how that elevator works and I almost forgot to mention uh, the reason I have to do the water elevator and then drop them 23 blocks is because I'm already down to bedrock just underneath here and the spawner you know is only four or five blocks above bedrock so I have to bring them up then drop them so if you find a spawner that is already more than 23 blocks above bedrock bedrock you can skip the water elevator part and just create a shaft that they fall down 
Okay, my friends, we are now in some random single-player creative world, and I have built the XP machine out in the open so that you guys can see exactly what's going on here. Um, now, this is where we were killing all the zombies. They sit down here, pow, 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 pow. And I built us a little fake dungeon here, as you can see. So the red block playing the part of the monster spawner. Um, now, when you find your monster spawning room... You're going to want to make sure you have these dimensions, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Then all you're going to do is place one block of water in that corner, one block of water in that corner, and that makes it so anytime zombies or whatever monsters spawn from this, no matter where they fall, they're going to eventually get pushed down into here. And now we're in the water elevator. Now, I'm not sure how easy it is for you guys to see, uh, but what we have is this 23 blocks tall. It's one by two pipe or shaft, whatever you want to call it. And we have alternating signs going all the way up. A sign here, sign there, sign there, sign there, back and forth, all the way up signs. And then in between the signs, we put blocks of water because monsters, as we all know, are always jumping. So now let's come out here and I will play the part of a monster and we'll see just how this works. Okay, so you ready? Brr. 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 So now you can see holding down spacebar, and that's it. And it is carrying us up through all these signs and all this water. All the way to the top, where the zombies then come here and go. Brr. Brr. And then they drop about 23 blocks to right here and they all start glitching out and I will be standing right there beating their faces in with my bare fist <laughs> um, yeah so I hope that helps out a, l a little bit guys that's that's what is going on inside the earth of vanilla craft 2 and that is how I am getting so much XP I hope you guys understand that a little bit and I will see y'all very soon okay now bye